Why are Minnesotans so obsessed with fall? <laughs> oh, I think we're obsessed with whatever season we're in. <laughs> Hannah Monheim, co-founder of Minnesota Circle, a podcast and online platform highlighting Minnesota businesses and attractions, has put together a 21-page fall guide that includes activities and destinations you may have never heard of before. We like to find places that are a little less busy, a little uh, lesser known. One of the spots on that list, Capone Art Park in Egan. It's not just a park. It's, I mean, it's a beautiful, gorgeous park, but there's these super interesting sculptures all around. You can visit for free and there's plenty of parking. Also in the metro, the new park near St. Anthony Falls on the downtown side of the river. This weekend, it will be home to the Awamni Festival, celebrating indigenous cultures in Minnesota. <coughs> For some fall classics, check out Country Sun Farm off Highway 36 in Lake Elmo. It's beautiful, yeah, perfect. Yep, it's our favorite time of year. You can feed the animals. Him on them, the dog by keep right there. Pick pumpkins and take a hayride. We come here every year. This is our little adventure. Further east down 36, visit Stillwater's newly opened pedestrian bridge that's part of a 4.7 mile loop connecting with the new bridge over the St. Croix River. So it's a great place to get a lot of exercise and you can see just the best views of both sides of the bluffs.